The Game of Baseball Through a Little Girl's Eyes. My name is Kennedy Cotter. I am a 12-year-old multi-sport athlete and live in Bayonne, New Jersey. I began playing baseball at the age of five and immediately fell in love with the game. With the support of my family, mentors, and coaches, I continue to play baseball today and plan to for a long time. This book started as a project I did for my work as a junior captain for Baseball for All. I chose to write a children's book to share my story and experiences playing baseball. My main goal in writing this book is to inspire other girls like me who love the game of baseball to continue pursuing their dreams and most importantly, have fun playing a sport they love. It was the big day. Nerves were swirling inside my stomach like a soft serve ice cream cone. As I munched on chocolate chip waffles, the only thing I could think about was my first ever baseball game. As I got ready, my dad eagerly shouted, Kennedy, come to the living room. I rushed down the stairs to find a bright pink baseball bag. I undipped the bag and noticed a shiny silver bat that used to be my older brother's and a glove that was the color of the sky. I was set for my first game. When my dad and I got close to the field, I spotted the sun glimmering down on the baseball diamond. The nurse threw up inside me again as I squeezed my dad's hand as hard as I could. He nudged me to get going and sprinted to the dugout. Coach called my name. Kennedy, you're batting second and playing shortstop. When I heard the news, I hustled onto the field to make sure I was the first player at their position. All of a sudden, the fans stopped cheering and started staring at a little girl who was just trying to play baseball. That little girl was me. I felt my nerves swirling inside my stomach again as I pulled my baseball cap down trying to hide my face. Our team's pitcher launched the ball down the plate. Kapow! The batter swung with all his might and the ball headed towards me like a rocket. I dived with my arms fully stretched out, caught the ball, and threw it as hard as I could to first base. The umpire immediately threw a punch in the air which meant the batter was out. The crowd was stunned. They were cheering and applauding. It felt awesome. The next two outs of the inning, the, picker, the pitcher struck out the batters and we headed back to the dugout, high-fiving each other on the way in. I was still so happy that I made a diving play, but I knew that I was just one out of the game. When I made the diving catch, my nerves flew away like butterflies. But when I was getting ready to head to the plate, they skyrocketed as fast as a rocket going to outer space. The umpire shouted, next batter up. It was time, my first at bat of the season. I stepped into the batter's box, took a practice swing, and got ready. Strike one flew by like a plane in the sky. I fouled all strike two. Now I was nervous. I swung at the next pitch and missed. I felt awful. Everybody on the other team was laughing at me. Don't let that at bat get in your way, I whispered to myself. I was fighting back tears, but I went back to the dugout with my head up and learned from my mistakes so I could hit a home run the next at bat. Tied game, last inning, fast fall down the middle. Boom, the ball hit my bat and traveled over the fence. Home run. My smile lit up like the sun, my teammates were cheering, and the crowd was screaming as I ran around the bases. It felt awesome. To celebrate, my family and I went to get some ice cream from my favorite spot, Magic Fountain. I ordered my favorite flavor, chocolate marshmallow. As I was walking back to the car, I realized something, something really special. I loved the game of baseball and nothing was ever going to stop me from playing it.